Hello everyone, welcome you back for the sessions on the weight, weight motor and as well as the piston motor and its performances. Now here in this case the weight, weight motor consists of the slotted rotor, weight motor housings. Uh, the slotted rotor is, is nothing but the rotor consists of the slots where the veins are being placed. These veins are accommodated in such a way that which can move slides, slide, which can move freely and it is sliding sliding veins the veins uh, veins they are usually a rectang rectangular veins helps in maintaining an air col air column inside the motor housing due to the difference in pressure or the difference in force acting on force acting on the vein surfaces the motor rotates the motor house motor housing it is a hollow cylind cylinder inside which the rot rotor and the veins veins are kept the center of the rotor is offset with the housing. It is a port uh, for the inlet and as well as the outlet of outlet of the air. The inlet port inlet port is placed where the rotor is nearest to the housing, and the outlet port is usually uh, diametrically opposite. Like the wind pump, the wind motor is also classified as the unbalanced type and as well as the balanced wind motors. But the most of the wind motors are universally are balanced rotors type only. Because of the hydraulic unba unbalance causes the large radial radial bearing loads, which limits the use of the unbalanced wind mo wind motors in the low pressure operations. Therefore, most of the wind motors have, have the mechanical configuration which is similar to that of the balanced wind pumps. Also, the uh, wind motors are the fixed displacement units the figure illustrates the construction of the oper construction and as well as operation of the balanced type of the vane motor the vane motor produces a torque by the hydraulic pressure that acts on the on the exposed surface of the veins uh, which slides in and out of the rotor that is connected to the driver shaft to accommodate the starting and as well as the low speed operation it is usually necessary to provide a force in addition to a centrifugal force to move the vein radially outwards outwards the springs are commonly used for this purpose the schematic diagram shows the uh, shows the vein motor the large large larger is exposed exposed area of the vein or the higher the pressure more more is the torque developed also the inlet is connected to the two op opposing opposing pressure passages the side loads of the rotor is balanced with each other the next topic what we are discussing is with respect to the piston motors the piston motors are classified uh, into the following terms according to the piston of the cylinder blocks and as well as the driver shaft position the motors are classified into either it may be axial piston motors the swash plate uh, swash plate type piston motors radial radial piston motors and as well as the bent type piston motors According to the basis of the displacement, it has been classified into fixed displacement motors and as well as variable displacement motors. The, the axial piston motors. In the axial piston motor, the piston reciprocates parallel to the axis of the cylinder block. These motors are available both as well as a fixed and as well as a variable displacement features. They generate the torque by the pressure acting on the end of the piston reciprocating inside the cylindrical block. The figure illustrates the inner design in which the motor the driving shaft and as well as the cylindrical block are centered on the same axis. The pressure acting on, on the end of the piston generates the force against the, against the angle smash plate to rotate. This causes the cylindrical block to rotate with a, with a torque and that is proportional to the area of the pis piston. Uh, the, the inline piston motor is designed either for the fixed and as well as a vari variable dis displacement unit. The swash plate determines the volumetric displacement. The schematic diagram shows the uh, shows the swash plate piston motor. The one end of one end consists of the cylinder. The other uh, other end consists of the swash plate. The the swash plate is connected by means of a rod and as well as the piston. Once if the uh, air or it may be the fu or the uh, fluid is pressurized pressurized to the piston. The piston movement will take place once if the piston starts moving 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 or the the forward stroke and as well as the reverse stroke it is taking place the pressure is acting on the smash plate the smash plate as it is placed at incline and even the pistons consist consists of what we can say 
the the what you can say the as a a, 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 a circular circular portion which is nothing but a cup and cone cup type structure which which pushes the pushes the smash plate that smash plate will start rotating it the inline piston motor the inline piston motor is a variable displacement unit the smash plate is mounted mounted on a swing yoke the angle can be varied varied by the various means such as such as the levers and as well as the hand wheels or it may be a servo control the bent type bent type axis motors the bent type axis piston motors is a, another type of the piston motors this type of motors develops a torque due to the pr pressure acting on the reciprocating piston in this motor the cylindrical block and as well as the driving shaft are mounted at an angle to each other so that the force exerting on the driving shaft flange the speed and as well as the torque depends upon the uh, depends upon the angle between the cylinder block and as well as the driving shaft the larger the angle the greater the displacement of the torque and as well as smaller the speed normally the angle is varying from 7.5 degree to a maximum of 30 degrees 30 degrees the type of the motor is available in two types either it may be a fixed displacement or it may be a variable displacement type the schematic diagram shows the uh, uh, variable uh, variable type displacement bent bent type, bent type displacement uh, piston motor see here in this case the low uh, the left side left side consists of the left side portion consists of the cylinder the cylinder is connected with the with a with a piston the piston is in turn connected to a driving shaft as a as a pr pressure is applied on the piston the cylinder is also starts rotating it and if the piston the piston starts piston starts moving in and out in the forward uh, forward and as well as a reverse direction stroke because of the moment of the moment of the piston the piston is in turn connected to the shaft through a link or a a rod the uh, that it makes the shaft to rotate the radial piston motors the radial piston motors is a, another type of the motor which is which is reciprocating radially or perpendicular to the axis of the output output shaft the basic principle of the operation of the radial piston motor is as shown in the figure the radial piston motor are the low speed high torque motors which can be addressed for multi multifarious problems uh, in in diverse power transmit and transfer applications the next one is, is with respect to the performance of the hydraulic motors see the performance of the hydraulic motor depends upon the so many factors such as the precision of precision of their parts tolerance between the mating parts etc the internal leakage between the between the inlet and as well as the outlet affects the volumetric efficiency the friction between the mating parts mating parts affects the mechanical efficiency the gear motors the overall efficiency is varying some varying from somewhere around 70 to 75 percent when compared to the vane motor is varying from 75 to 85 percent and the piston motors varying from 85 to 95 percent the motor torques are divided divided into three separate groups the starting torque, running torque, stalling torque, etc. Now here in this case, the starting torque. The starting torque, starting torque is a turning force of the motor that exerts the from a dead stop. The running torque, the running torque is the is exerted when the motor is running and as well as changing changes whenever there is a changes in fluid pressure. The stalling torque, the stalling torque is is a torque necessary to stop the motor. Uh, in most of the hydraulic motors, the stalling torque and as well as the starting torque are equal. Uh, usually, usually the starting torque is 75 to 75 to 80 percent, which is nothing but the maximum design torque. The volumetric efficiency. The volumetric efficiency of the hydraulic motor is the ratio of the theoretical flow rate to the actual flow rate required to achieve a particular speed. The the mechanical efficiency the mechanical efficiency of the hydraulic motor is the ratio of the actual torque delivered by the motor to the torque of the motor so, uh, theoretical delivery see normally normally uh, uh, the output torque of the hydraulic motor is less than the theoretical torque due to the mechanical friction between the mating parts the overall efficiency the overall efficiency of the motor is a ratio of the output output power to the input power of the motor the output power is the mechanical 
mechanical power the output output power is nothing but a mechanical power the output at the shaft and the input power is nothing but a fluid energy which is nothing but a pressure a sim uh, in a simplified way the equation it equation is uh, overall efficiency is equal to t suffix a into n by p into q a the pumps are classified into so many different forms this classification is 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 the what you can say the basic classification by which the entire what you can say the pumps it it can be classified as the positive displacement pump and as well as the non positive displacement pump now what we are discussing is with respect to the in the positive displacement rotary type and as well as the reciprocatory type even in the rotary type also what we are seeing is nothing but the gear vein and as well as the screw in the case of the reciprocatory type axial and as well as the radial piston type even in the axial also the inline and as well as the bent we are seeing it and even in the inline also the variable variable and as well as the uh, the constant and as well as the <coughs> inclinable smash plate type axial piston motors are there in the case of the radial radial piston motors the stationary cylindrical block and as well as rotating blocks are there even in the case also with respect to the vane the fixed displacement and as well as the variable displacement even in the fixed displacement also unbalanced vane pumps and as well as the balanced vane pumps are there see this is a broad classification with respect to the pumps and even in the case of the non non positive displacement pumps there are three types are there one is the centrifugal pumps axial flow pumps and as well as the radial flow pumps